Recently, someone submitted a question to me about alpha levels, and that question was, if the null hypothesis is rejected when your alpha level is 0 0.03, first of all, what could you say if alpha was 0 0.05, and second of all, what could you say if alpha was 0 0.01? Now, if your alpha was 0 0.03, it would look something like this. Now, I'm saying we're rejecting when alpha is 0 0.03, so basically that means that whatever value you calculated, your z or your t or whatever, is to the right of that red line I've drawn. It falls within that 3% error in the tail. It's a rare event, so we're going to reject whatever our null hypothesis is. That's just a basic summary of what's going on. If you want more examples of that or have no idea what I was just talking about, I do have several other lectures on alpha levels and hypotheses and stuff like that. So the first question is, if the null hypothesis is rejected when your alpha level is 0 0.03, what could you say if alpha is 0 0.05? Now just looking at that graph, realize if you're rejecting at 0 0.03, that means you have a point to the right of that red line. So that definitely means you have a point to the right of that blue line. It encompasses all of the areas. So in this case, you would reject the null hypothesis. If you're rejecting at 0 0.03, you have to reject at 0 0.05 as well. But now back to this, and the other question is, if the null hypothesis is rejected when your alpha level is 0 0.03, what could you say if alpha was 0 0.01? Now, as you can see there, if you have a point to the right of 0 0.03, if you have a point to the right of the red line, it doesn't necessarily have to be to the right of the blue line as well. If it was to the right of the blue line, you could reject at 0 0.01. If it was between the red and blue lines, you could reject at 0 0.03, but not at 0 0.01. So here you would either reject or retain the null hypothesis. There is no way to definitively know the answer without, with the given information. And if you'd like to submit your own question, you can either send your question in a message to Stats Lectures on YouTube or post a comment on our YouTube channel, or you can just send me an email directly from statisticslectures.com, and maybe I'll make a video about it.